agriculture in the Midwest is dominated by corn and soybean production. If we include agroforestry into these systems, we can have all, all sorts of economic and ecological benefits where agroforestry is actually more profitable than corn and soybean production. So it's important to sort of identify those areas and maybe promote agroforestry in them. Ecologically, agroforestry has all sorts of benefits. This can include things like carbon sequestration, um, the reduction of erosion and pollution from agricultural systems, as well as wildlife habitat. There's a misconception that woody plants don't provide food. Actually, they do, fruits and nuts. And there's a wide range of native fruit and nut species in the Midwest that they grow pretty well. And taken together, they're adapted to a wide range of soil and climate conditions in the Midwest and will do really well in our agricultural systems. In addition, there's a lot of unfilled market potential for fruit and nuts in our region. And so if we include fruit and nut trees in our repertoire, that can really help us expand the potential of agroforestry. There's a mindset that trees are bad in agricultural landscapes and so that's a, um, a challenge that we need to overcome. And trees are a long-term crop and some, sometimes they take a long time to grow and before they'll produce fruit. And so you have to do long-term planning and keep in mind um, that some of these you know, systems are, are, they take some upfront investment, they take a lot of work upfront, they, they may take years of maintenance before you get anything back out of them. Uh, but in the long term, you know, the, the benefits might be out, offset. For a farmer's pocketbook, if they can spread out some of the risk, uh, when one crop may not do as well, another one might do better. And so it provides a way to, to balance some of the economics and provide ecological benefits. that agroforestry can help fight climate change is simple, carbon sequestration. Woody plants can capture and store carbon for longer than annual plants. So if we replace parts of annual cropping systems with woody cropping systems, we'll be capturing and storing carbon for longer. If we include agroforestry in our farm systems in the Midwest, that can help us restore some of the ecosystem functions and ecosystem services that were lost from the landscape when we changed our native prairies, savannas, and forests into more agriculturally intensive systems, while also still producing food.